an incredible weight. It's a massive towel. <sighs> I've been wanting to see this in a theater, and yeah, I'm bummed I didn't. Because this is making my top 10 easily. I'm already going to say that right now. Nicolas Cage, as Nick Cage. Just him being able to like cut loose and play himself and the caricature of himself is funny. Funny as fuck. Uh, Timothy Haddish is fine as a CIA agent and so is the other actor that plays one of the CIA agents. Um, you've barely seen Dave Patrick Harris as the as Cage's agent. Um, but the thing that makes this movie the thing that makes this movie click because I had my moments where I was like I liked it but it was kind of like oh god oh god you know with some of the moments where he was starting to fumble and stuff and we were hoping that things would pick up eventually and it picks up the moment the moment when we start getting an interaction from Javi, Pedro Pascal's Javi, and the chemistry just just goes off, and you're you're like glued to his character a lot because he's such a super fan. The whole point of this movie is that he is ba is sort of loosely based around the it it does it definitely doesn't ignore, like he's called Nick Cage, but yet it's everything of his actual career leading up to the point of this movie. But he's also dealing with his usual financial, but it's more closer to the time frame of his. Yet it's. Yet the sound of the plot comes around from this time frame where he's. From the recent stuff in the news of where he's been at financially lately. Um, where how bankrupt he's been. Um, and now he's just kind of. And in this case, he's basically. A washed up actor, basically, trying to. And a. A pathetic excuse of a father, apparently, because they and you and apparently was a husband, because then he's dealing with the divorce and everything. And so he's dealing with this. And so in dealing with this, he basically tries to get act like he's still on the top of his game and all this stuff. He even has his own little super ego named Nikki that apparently some other actor impersonator that has like a, a digital face thing to him to make him look like younger cage the one that does this that everyone sees the gif with the kickflip that has the <laughs> you know <laughs> it's basically okay I, sh I forgot I should have said this right it's starring Nick Probably didn't say it long enough, but you get the point. Sorry for your eardrums, by the way. But yes. And Pedro Pascal is just, he's the super fan in all of us when it comes to like any action hero star or movie star. And in this case, it being Nicolas Cage. And then wanting to finally get a chance to work with him, make a script. And only to find out that apparently something happens in this movie where... He ends up getting hired because it seemed like to where he's basically hired by this guy to do a birthday party, to attend a birthday party, and to also wind up possibly doing a movie, trying to star in a movie he wants to star in with him. That evolves into something else later down the road, especially more so because of the fact that Javi. Uh, this hobby character and the, because it seems this hobby character also secretly has a darker past uh, that he's being um, considered possibly uh, part of the mo uh, some form of a mafia um, or at least he's the head name of the mafia or something of that nature sure and cage is basically having to be forced to be the inside man for these for these CIA agents that are kind of Attempting to do something they weren't able to do before I guess and using cage to help them get Intel and It just kind of goes it becomes a nice fun little sort of action buddy comedy 
that sort of meta when it comes to the career of Nicolas Cage. Which, if you are a Nicolas Cage fan, this movie is meant for you. Um, even if you're not, and you see this movie and you love this movie, you will become a Nicolas Cage fan. That's what this movie does. So well. Uh, well, or at least it will make you more of one. And I love even the references in some of the movies. And, uh, I don't want to even spoil some of it. It's so good. It's like... Uh, and it was an interesting choice of cast, but for the most part, it's it's clearly what sells you in this movie is Cage and Pascal and Pedro Pascal's hobby, chemistry, in the buddy part of buddy cop, of the buddy comedy, action comedy style. Uh, and I, uh, it's amazing. Uh, it's a high recommend, horns up, possibly masterclass certification among the best movies involving Nicolas Cage in general, as well as to the extent of possibly one of Pedro Pascal's best film roles, uh, aside from his well-noted role in the Star Wars series on Disney Plus, The Mandalorian, which I think should be coming in in season three and probably better off, I guess, because... I don't want them to milk this too much and become what some of these other shows have been lately if for Star Wars, unfortunately. At least not the ones that are in it. At least live action wise. Yeah, animated ones are still doing okay. But anyways, what did you guys think? What did you guys, ha have you guys thought of this movie since it's been out? Um, uh, do you, what it, uh, do you agree with my thoughts? Do you disagree with my thoughts? What are your thoughts? Do you think this movie is some masterclass shit? Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know. If you like this video, rock that like button with the rest of you must. As always, guys, keep it random. Keep it random. Keep it real. Keep it rocking. And I will see you in the next video. Take care, y'all. Other videos down the pipeline. Just so you know. Take care.